Okay, it's Naked Chef Sandra, and I am going to make pizza dough and a pizza for dinner. And today we are going to start with putting on your apron. So you don't get messy or burned. Then, let's see. First, you're going to start with a quarter cup of light beer, or you can just use water if you don't have beer. But um, I like the extra flavor that beer gives your dough. Oh. Calls for a quarter cup and an extra, maybe just to top it off. Okay, any light beer will work. Um, I used Modella, my liquor store doesn't have very many options for single cans of beer, so. I chose the best one that I liked best. Then you're going to get three quarters of a cup of warm water. Then you're going to mix together the yeast. That is one package of yeast, which a package is two and a quarter teaspoons. Okay, and I have like these multi-measuring teaspoons that goes from an eighth of a teaspoon to a whole teaspoon. They're from Pampered Chef. I love them. They're awesome. So they want two and a quarter teaspoons. Here's one. Here's two. And here's a quarter. Okay. And you're just going to mix that together so that the yeast can activate its instant yeast. So it doesn't take long. It just has to sit in the, mix it up and let it dissolve a little bit in the warm water. Alrighty. There you go. There you go. Then you're going to add your um, sugar, salt, and olive oil and mix that well to combine it. You need a tablespoon of white sugar. Yeast it, it eats and grows off of sugar, so that's good to have that in there. And then a teaspoon of salt. And a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm just going to use the tablespoon to mix those things in and combine them.
Just feel everything kind of dissolves and it's all mixed together well. Okay. Then you're gonna put in your two and a half to three and a half cups of bread flour or all purpose flour. Okay, so I'm gonna get um my bread flour. I'm now this is a two cup measure. So I'm just gonna pour it into two cups. That's about right. That's good. Yeah. And then I'm gonna use my little quarter cup measuring guide to measure the half a cup. And usually two and a half cups does pretty good. I mean, if it is too um, sticky or wet, you can add more flour up to three and a half cups. But um, for me, it's, that doesn't usually happen. Okay, and then you're gonna turn your mixer on to maybe four. So let it start mixing until the dough comes from the side and it forms into a ball. That my dough is smooth and it kind of formed into a ball around the hog after I mixed it for like six to eight minutes. You want to unhook your hunk. And I just take the dough out and set it on the counter for a sec. I mean, it, you, I have clean counters. I always wipe them down before I do anything. And then I'm just going to wipe this bowl out with a little bit of water and a paper towel. Because it says you should have like a clean um, bowl. Which, like, basically your bowl is pretty much clean because, like, all the flour and dough got, um, sopped up while you were, after, while you were mixing it, yeah. And, um, you're just wiping out, like, some of the residue that might be there or whatever. It's pretty much clean as it is. Mm. What are you doing? There we go. Then, I'm going to throw that away. Then, you want to oil down your bowl. Put some in there. Just a little bit. Like, maybe, um, teaspoon, two teaspoons or so. Wipe it all around your bowl. my dough so that it is in perfect ball form and tuck it all under so that is a nice ball and just put it in there put it in your ball and then cover it with a towel or a wet paper towel I'm going to use wet paper towel And my oven, um, when it's turned on, it um, is hot near the back. So I'm going to put my bowl back there so it's in a warm place to proof for 45 minutes. Okay, this is how your dough should look. It should be about doubled in size. And you want to oil your pan and um, it says to roll out the dough but I like to um, 
keep a uh, I like to um, keep like a crust on the edge. So I just pat it out on the pan. Right there. Just flip it out on the pan right here. And I just use my fingers to pat it out. And like go around the edges to keep the crust. And having this um, half, the standard half sheet pan is really nice because you can just form it to the pan and it's big enough to make a pretty big pizza, which this is a lot of dough for a kind of big pizza. This is kind of a squarish pizza, but kind of round. I like to make it more into a square so that I can just cut the pizza into squares. Stick it in a 425 degree oven for like five to eight minutes, I believe. Okay. Four to five minutes. Let's just stick it in for five. And this is called par baking, and you par bake it so that it doesn't, um, end up all soggy when um, you put the ingredients on and make it. It's like when it's par banked, it's, it's just dry, it's not sticky like dough anymore. Then you add your ingredients, your toppings, whatever you feel like. First your sauce. There's more if I need it, but we'll see. We're going to spread this sauce around first to see if we need any more. Hmm. I bet we'll need more. But I take a pretty big spoon, 
kind of just spread it about. Pretty much covered that. Okay, we'll just add a little more song. Put it to like all the edges. We might need a little bit more for this edge over here. There we go. Okay, there you go. Then, I'm going to get my cheese. It's not even open for me. It's good to keep scissors in your kitchen just in case you need them for anything like this. And then I think this pizza takes like one and a half um, packets of cheese. We'll spread out the first pack. These are like eight ounce packets or something like that. Yeah. Eight ounce packets. Yeah, we need more cheese. I'm just going to. Go ahead and cut the second one. And I'm going to put some here. And put some here. Spread it about. Here's that one. You can use uh, mozzarella or um, pizza cheese, whatever cheese you feel like. Um, or use the pizza blend. There's that. Then you can use whatever toppings you like. We like. Um, pepperoni, jalapeno, pineapple. So I'm going to place the pepperonis around so that there's some space in between them, but there's still pepperonis in every bite.
There we are. And then I um, drained some pineapple in a strainer over in the sink. And I'm just going to flutter them around. Okay, that, and then I've got some jalapeno. And I'm just gonna open the jalapeno and train off some of the juice. And put on maybe like most of the people, but I don't like all of it in case somebody doesn't want jalapeno. Not that one. I don't want like to use the ends that are closest to the stem because mm, they're kind of just icky. And here. Okay. And here. And maybe uh, here. And then, there we go. And then I use some of the leftover cheese to kind of sprinkle on and bind everything together. So I guess all together you use a full pound of cheese. And then, um, you pop it back in for like 8 to 12 minutes, depending on how well you want it done and depending on how brown you want the crust. I always start with um, less time because you can always add time, you can't take time away. So let's start with like 10 minutes. And then we'll check it, and if the crust is as brown as I want, then I'll take it out and serve it. My pizza crust a little more brown. So I put it in for 15 minutes instead of 12. And then you just um, cut it up with your slicing tool, which I just have this neat little wheel. When you serve it up, there's your pizza.